Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yes, we are going for it again. And I've got a little bit of blue and white. I'm going to start doing the sky. But my palette is a right mess. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. Because I uh, kept the paint that I used last. I sprayed it with water and put it in the fridge. So it's all right to use, it just means there's not many places to mix colors, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, these sketches I've done, anything to save paint? <laughs> yeah, these sketches I've done um, are just ideas for paintings. I wanna do this one. It's based on a place that I glance at when I go over this, there's a bridge here. And I glance there and I'm like, oh, that would make a good painting. So I paint, I designed this from memory and uh, I added these trees because I can't really remember how it looks at the background. I know there's trees there, but they might be more like this. <laughs> that looks a bit better though, doesn't it? And uh, this is based on a picture that my mum's got in a, my mum and dad have got in their living room. <laughs> I just did my version of it. Um, Maybe I'll paint that. Maybe I'll paint this one today though. So I'll just move that aside and put it somewhere so I can see it. It's only a small picture, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna get some cerulean blue and white and I'll start the sky off using that. Uh, here we go. I'm using a, well, it's not a sketchbook. I want to say a sketchbook. It's a scrapbook I got from uh, the range. Was this from the range? No. Yes, it might have been. <laughs> it was either from the range or from the works. That's where I usually find them. And... Uh, usually used for people that want to make photo albums and well scrapbooks but I think they're great for painters as well I got the idea to use these from watching uh, Nathan Fowkes's classes on schoolism which was pretty good actually I have to say pretty good And I was using mid-tone sketchbooks anyway, and I wanted somewhat thicker, and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go like this. Go a bit lower, maybe to about there. And then I can paint the trees on top. I was gonna make tree spaces for a second, but then I thought, nah. I'll just let it dry and then we can uh, change it. So I'll get a bit more of this blue and white. And we want some water. So the water's going along here. And then you can sort of see it go that round. Like that, and then it goes across like that, and then it goes around again, and then out. to be like there and then it comes right out to about there and then round to there Nice. 
nice blue. It's nice as a cerulean blue, isn't it? Nice colour. Just to go with that, I think. About there. And now we've got um, just so I know where that leads to. Goes there. And then I can add some lighter colour that I can just pull across. The white. Something like that will get us started. Just wash my brush. I don't need to worry too much about the top part because I think it's drying as it is anyway and I don't really mind if it's a little bit wet at this point. So, ooh, ice cream van. <laughs> don't know if you can hear that. So I'm grabbing a bluey green. I'll try and show you the colour. <laughs> this color. I've got a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the uh, sap green, so cerulean blue, sap green, there's a bit of a grayish color here, so that must be a bit of the brown black. I'll throw that in as well. Might get a bit more of the blue. So I don't want to go too crazy with dark colors in the background really. Keep it quiet. Lightish, anyway. What have we got? We've got a tree here. We had quite a big tree there. All different types of different sizes and shapes. We don't have to worry. It's quite far, so we don't need to go into immense detail. That's quite good. I might even add a bit of atmosphere to this. Get a little bit of a, a light colour. Just a sort of, pardon me, missed it away, missed it away. A bit of a mist. Now I'm going to give that a bit more colour. To uh, make it too 
too stand outy. <laughs> but I do want some light because I want the light to be coming this way. So I'm going to put a little bit of light in places. This is a bit of a bit of a raw sienna in the, in amongst this raw sienna colour. Can put a little bit of light in some of these areas. Be darken that one just a bit. Even browns and greens and you have all sorts in that. But that little bit of light at the bottom it just adds a bit of atmosphere. And now what I'm gonna do? Oops falling down, pull that back there. What I'm going to do is uh, get some grass. So there's some sap green and a little bit of yellow in, in there. I can use that. Move some of that along here. We keep some of that mist in amongst there, which uh, I quite like. Quite liking that. I've got a little bit of yellow as well. Pull a little bit of that colour in to there if, you, if you needed as well. Probably would be a bit of a shadow in that. I mean reflection. <laughs> I'll do not too much. Now I've got a tree right there, um, so I'll put a little bit of grass in first. Go a bit darker. Actually, I'll do this side because I want to get this bit darker in here. Bit of sap green, a little bit of brown black. Pull a little bit of that green into the water as well. Just push up on my brush just to get some uh, stuck out there. Can have some grass along here as well. using whatever's on my brush get kind of a mixed colour <laughs> I'm 
Let's create another sort of layer there. That's our dull colour. I'll start building this up here as well. The grass is a bit long, so you can't see as much as that water. I'm just tapping, tapping grass. Happily tapping away. We push up a little bit there. Okay, and then down here. So bit of dirt so a little bit of dirt I said brown <laughs> So that's not quite right. This sort of needs to go like there. Yeah, that looks more right. I'm trying to use my memory. Get the basic shape. Anyway, there's a tree. He's like a bluey, dark, bluey colour. There's a tree sort of here. I think we'll do this one, get this one done first, and that's going to be in the water. do now get a smaller brush and get some uh, some brown and I can put in a few had a bit too much orangey color on that sort of a bit of a uh, burnt sienna and brown black that's better. Okay, now I want to uh, start adding a bit more light. It's 
So I'm going to use this brush, the number 338. And I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to get a little bit of this uh, raw sienna, cadmium yellow. Into this green. So it's a nice, nice brighter colour. So I need to think about where the light is coming from. So I'm going to have it so in this sort of way, so we can have some various greens, various greens. So I'll start there. Got the green grass there. And it's quite far away. Sometimes you just uh, need to do some nice strokes for the distance. To choose the way, uh, the style of painting you want to do. Whether you want to paint like that. I'm thinking about this tree to be quite bright. What I might do is go for a different colour. I might start with a more raw sienna in it. What about a bit of red? Yeah, let's just let's just play around with colour. Sort of a, uh, a reddish. A bit of a raw sienna -y sort of look to it. some greens as well and I'll, I'll let that dry a little bit and I can uh, brighten this back up a bit more a bit more yellow in that in the background a bit more sun hitting it So I'm going to try uh, using uh, brush strokes on these areas. I find if it's quite rough, you want to wiggle your brush a little bit to get them sort of rougher strokes rather than straight flat. And that way you'll keep some of this nice, uh, the nice gaps in it, which you want, which I want anyway. I want those nice gaps in the uh, in the paint. this up to here. <laughs> Send that water round again. <laughs> Let's go round again. Okay. Something like that.
Let's have a look at that, and then uh, what I might do, I might bring some of this forward a bit more, more colour. Looks quite nice. Some of this needs to be brightened up a little bit yet, but let's put the grass, get the, more of the grass down. So we've got a shadow here, there, probably there. Just imagining that there's a shadow around that tree from the uh, the sunshine. Gonna pick up a bit more light, a bit more white in the uh, sienna color. Let's really brighten some of this. Let's really get some of these leaves to get a bit more light on them. A bit more light hitting them. It's a bit better. Course, I need to do some of this in the water. I was sort of using a, a stroke that was kind of downward like this. Then we can have some straight watery strokes. Although I wanted to put a tree up here as well. So I might do that while I'm uh, while I'm having fun. Let's get this tree. Is a tree in the uh, original idea growing there. So I have this growing all the way off. All the way. from this tree <laughs> create all kinds of branches it's good fun doing trees isn't it I see all kinds of trees started with the dark I mean you can put all kinds of branches in in your tree
just going to get a bit of a uh, bit of white in that burnt sienna. I could even put it here as well. A bit of light just hitting some of the Colour. I think I'm painting a few, tapping some nice leaves. See this tree as one of them goes all the way across the painting. <laughs> yeah, something like that. And then we can uh, pick up some yellow. And we can start thinking about the brightness. Get a little bit of the other colour in there, that raw sienna and yellow. Super light, this tree. Just look at that as a, uh, a hole. Maybe get a little bit more in this. Darkness behind the tree. Put a little bit of blue in it. to be too dark so I'll put a little bit of blue in it you can even put a little bit of that in the uh, in the tree on the other side of it if you want to and 
And well, I've got this sort of greenish, bluish white. You can have a bit of a light there. Just along the water as it's going round. Just tap that on of those little ripple type effects. Okay. These along here as well. And then I might just uh, put in a little birdie. And then we've almost got the scene that I see. <laughs> When I'm driving. A little bit of the bird core. Uh, maybe there's one. I'll put one there. And another one there. And maybe there's one there. Got a few. A few ones. You could put one in the water if you wanted to. It's up to you, you could, uh, you could go into a bit more detail if you wanted as well around this edge. Could do all sorts of things, you could put little algae bits in there or duckweed. <laughs> you could do all kinds. Do get a lot of duckweed in there. Maybe I'll put some little duckweed in there. Bits of green. Maybe there's some in there. Yeah, I think. I will call this. So you could change anything you like. You could put more, more in, less in. <laughs> nah, no, have fun with uh, an idea. I mean, I, I keep keep going. I could see like maybe there's some. It's got coloured grass here. I could put that in. Yeah, I think I'll uh, I'll call this one finished. Could always add. Yeah, I still need to dark lighten this bit a bit a bit more. It's just a little bit too dark. I want it to be a shadow, but I don't want it to be too shadowy. Good to have dark bits, but it's also nice to have colour in those bits. Just what I do. I mean, that you could always you could have light breaking that there as well. You could put little grassy bits there. A 
some different strokes in there and uh, maybe I mean <laughs> I'm taking this even further I can imagine let me say we wanted to walk down here we'd have to uh, have to go on some sort of path maybe there's a path there there is now you can get round there it comes around here Why not? Why not have a path? Just use a little bit of grass to go over it, just to drop it down into the ground. Well, yeah, we've got a little path there now, so we can walk round there. <laughs> and you gotta keep going with uh, little things. Maybe uh, at one point there was a, a fence here. to stop people uh, crossing the river there but or maybe they had animals but it's been a while and the uh, they've not been uh, fixing it anymore so the uh, the posts are there. But they're just not being used. It's holding the animals in and then Something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just the remaining of a few things. So there we go. I think I'll call this one now. So thanks very much for watching this episode. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.